What is good everybody, today we have some brand new WWE action figure news for you and this one came out of left field, I feel like nobody is talking about this, nobody is posting about this and it's a very interesting development and I can already kind of hear the groans from here, maybe you don't care, I'd like to know, but I, I can see both sides of it and we're going to discuss all of the different lore that we have going on today man, but I want to get into this and this news actually comes to us from my man Wrestling DeLorean and he has a fantastic page, he has a podcast of course, it's the Wrestling Figure News Podcast, I think it's called the Wrestling figure news podcast but he also has a website wrestling figure news wrestling delorean 85 on instagram well he actually did a podcast episode with steve ozer the global brand marketing manager for wwe mattel of course we know him friend of the channel steve and he got on there and he revealed some new news and i actually didn't check it until like 3 a.m it was like 3 a.m i hadn't heard anything whatever and i hadn't listened to the podcast or anything wasn't there live and so i'm just chilling and i get on instagram and this this pops up on my feed and it was this video you're going to get a best of Monday Night War wave later this year that has iconic moments um, from the Monday Night War era. Same packaging, dates on packaging, but they are upgrades of figures that we have have previously done. Um, and I will I will reveal one of the figures now. It is the best of the Attitude Era Triple H, um, and he's upgraded with the new double jointed arms. Um, and that figure, you know, was a popular figure back when it was originally released. So so you're going to see figures like that included in this best of wave. Um, which if you purchase all four figures, you're going to be able to build NWO Vincent. So, you heard it here, man. We are getting a best of Monday Night War Elite Wave that will be coming later this year. Not only are we getting a best of Monday Night Wars Wave, we are also getting a brand new Build-A-Figure in this set, which is going to include the Vincent that we saw on display at WrestleMania 40 at the Superstore. So, I do remember telling you guys that Steve mentioned something about a bonus Build-A-Figure, and that seems to be the news here, man. We have a bonus Build-A-Figure Virgil figure in the NWO, but on top of that, we are getting best of Monday Night Wars figures and one of those figures is going to be the Attitude Era or the best of Attitude Era Triple H Elite from back in the day with the DX shirt and the leather jacket. I didn't really care for that figure off the t off, off rip. I didn't really care for that figure when it first released but this is very, very interesting. What in the blue hell are we going to do with another re-release wave, man? I mean, I have to tell you, at this juncture if you're holding on to any old Elites, man you better get rid of them. I would get rid of them immediately. I've never been a men on card guy. I was never a men on card guy for WWE elites. Of course, I might have a few in the collection, but it is not my forte. I do not really enjoy men on card collecting unless it's a one-off and things like that. But man, if I were you and I were holding on to one of these rare pieces, man, today's the day. Just move it. Just get rid of it. Go ahead and sell it because I promise you they're going to re-release it. If it has any value whatsoever, it is getting re-released. And this is just, there's so many, there's so much to unpack here because this is another greatest hits wave. And let's just go, let's count down, man. Let's count down all the different greatest hits, all the different re-releases that we have going right now. So you have the regular greatest hits line. Not to I'm not going to include the top picks wave, but the top picks or top talents figures. Sort of a re-release wave as well, if you think about it, right? I mean, the Gunther and the Roman that just included with the Ray, which was just a repaint. I'm not even counting the top talents or the top picks waves, but you could include those if you were so inclined. But not including top picks, we have the regular greatest hits line. We have the greatest hits legends line that is the target exclusive wave. We have the From the Vault series which is the ringside exclusive from the Vault series, which we have discussed. It is going to be these older figures that are getting re-released. And now you throw on top of it a best of Monday Night War set. Now, the thing is, is this is not, and that's not even including the Greatest Hits Ultimate Editions that we also get. However, you must talk about this. Another re-release wave, and it's not going to be Monday Night War's Elites, okay? This is not going to be, you know, re-releases of Austin and Hogan and Taker and Scott Hall. This is going to be Monday Night War themed Elites from the past getting plugged into a new Best of Monday Night Wars Elite set, like the Triple H that we just saw, and apparently they're going to include new Build-A-Figures, which is cool. I am glad about that. However, there that just opens the door to so many more different things. I mean, I can name off the top of my head a bunch of different figures I could see them putting into this line right here, and that's not even including the figures that they put in the main wave, which are re-releases, or some of these other one-off waves, like the Defining Moments line with the new Kane that's coming out. That's essentially a re-release as well, so you have to look at those things, 
And so I just think there's so many different re-release waves now, man. I mean, it is crazy at the amount of re-release waves we're seeing from Mattel. And they're basically telling you, if you have some of those older figures, and I will say they are outdated. It does bum me out sometimes to think about great figures of the past. And I'm like, damn, it has single jointed arms. That does bum me out. You know, man, the head sculpt's really dated. So it does make sense. They've been around for so long. I mean, they're going on almost 15 years of Mattel making WWE figures. So I totally get it. But I also get the guys that collected those originally that wanted to sit on them or wanted to, you know, have a piece that just holds value. Even if you didn't collect for value in the beginning, it is cool to see a piece increase in value, even if that wasn't your, you know, that wasn't your inclination in the beginning. Maybe you didn't want or care about the value, but if something naturally grows in value, it is cool to look back on. It, it's cool to have something that's, you know, you hold like that, and then it grow over time. You're like, oh man, that actually goes for triple the price now. That's crazy. Or that goes for three, four hundred bucks now. That's crazy. I only paid twenty dollars for that. So I do understand that part of it as well. It's just a very odd thing to see another best of figure set and it gets my brain moving because what if this is another way to get more Monday Night Wars figures out so they can try and revamp that damn stage that crowdfunding stage now we know that there are no crowdfunders coming this year I think they're going to sit on it for the rest of the year but I think next year they are going to try their hand again at a crowdfunder now is that going to be the Monday Night War stage is it going to be something related to the Monday Night Wars is it going to be the Raw is War stage which I highly doubt I don't know maybe they're going to run it back with better figure selection maybe they're going to scale it down and then rerun it I don't know we're, we're, we'll get into that and I think those are definitely possibilities that are going to be on the table. It's just something that you got to think about. Why are they pumping out so many Monday Night Wars figures so fast and re-releasing old ones to get those new collectors back in there? I don't know, man. I don't know. But that to have another re-release wave of figures coming is just not something that I thought of. And I, I really don't care for that Triple H figure, that Attitude Era figure. It was cool for what it is. And you could also make that into so many different guys, right? So I guess it's not the biggest deal. But I mean, there are plenty of figures. I can think of the Defining Moments Rock or the Rock and Sock Connection or there's some Mankinds from back in the day. There's some Takers they could do. I mean, hell, I'm sure there's some different Hogans they could include or some Nashes, maybe Elite 16 Nash. There's certainly things that they can rerun to put in this Monday Night War set, but I thought that was crazy that nobody was talking about that and I definitely wanted to get on there and talk about it, but we also have a little bit more news here because I want to get into the WWE Elite Legends of the Territory Era 4-pack is apparently listed or going up for pre-order on May 15th on Mattel Creations. Apparently it's going to be... So I saw it posted that it was going to be 100 bucks, but then I also saw where it's going to be $80. Now I don't know what it is at first, but $80 for this pack seems fantastic. And you get a lot of cool pieces here. I think that everything included here is amazing. You get the championships. We've already run down the lore of this entire pack, but I do have to chime in here and say again that it is a very nice set. I like this set a lot. I'm really, really excited to see exactly what these guys look like. It's going to be an epic four pack here, Legends of the territory and I do do believe they said that this is just going to be a one-off this is not going to be something that they do over and over again I guess if this sold like hotcakes or you know it was booming business or something like that they may do that but it does look like this is going to be you know what F it man let's go over there I'm going over there right now let's find out let's find out what it is you know what's sad every time I type in Mattel creations on my computer the first little hit at the top is the Monday Night Nitro entrance stage and when you click on it it takes me to the page where you buy it and it shows me everything about the information and and then it says, you know, it tells me how many backers we got. And it says not funded 78%, 3,932 backers. And we didn't get it. So that is something that pops up every single time that I go to Mattel Creations because it automatically links it because I just clicked the first thing at the top instead of waiting for it to all pop up. Anyway, let's shut the hell up and get over here to the WWE. And when you go to the WWE, it does have the entire thing there posted up for you. Launching May 15th, 9 a.m. Pacific Time, Classic Champions, WWE Legends from the Territory multi-pack and then you click it there and it tells you with the countdown and everything like that $80 seems to be a fantastic price for this set but what do I know man and I think it should ship fairly soon I don't think it's going to be one of those things where they sit on your money I do believe that these are things are very very close to coming out so that is something that is also awesome is that we're not going to have to wait you know our money is not going to be sitting and holding and all that mess it should be good to go. So that is great, man. But, you know, Steve said that there was going to be four figures in this Best of Monday Night War set. I'm just thinking, trying to fantasy book who it could be. And it has to be some figures that are older, right? And it's going to be these bigger stars. And I don't know if they're going to leave out. I mean, Triple H, this would be his second figure. If you include the mainline Monday Night War set and you include the Best of Monday Night War set, he would already have two figures. I think they could do somebody like... Who, I mean, God, there there are definitely ones that they could do with Rey Mysterio, possibly. They could 
do Austin, uh, Rock, you know, these obvious ones, but I can also see them doing some other characters, hopefully, but I would love to know some suggestions for who you'd like to see, some previous guys from that era that Mattel's already done that need a re-release or you'd like to see re-release. Maybe you missed out on those figures. I would like to know all of that down in the comment section below. If you guys will, please let me know who you think you want to see in this wave. I think that is all the news that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I want to know what you think, man. What are you thinking of all these damn re-release waves? I know we've talked about it at nauseum here on the channel, but it seems like they keep re-releasing them, man. We keep getting them, and 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 they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. So let me know what you think of all that down in the comments comment section below, man. But before we get out of here, a huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all those fellows over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for all of your continued support, but I'm getting the hell out. Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed one. Let me know your thoughts on all this, John, down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.